about the Chrome Lab that you receive in school. So let us hear from the different teachers. Starting from Encik Abdul Rahim from SMK Ahmad Mahir. Encik Abdul Rahim he is asking us to uh, change his schedule. So we go to Juan Marzian first. Uh, so Juan Marzian, can you share your experience of working from life in your school? What are the things that you are doing? And how do you manage it in the classroom? If there is any issue you would like to share with us, and then how, do you, how did you solve the issue? And what are the best practices of using uh, from lab in your school? Okay, uh, hello everyone. Okay, my name is Wan Marzian binti Ahmad Syafian. I'm from SMK Bandar Baru Salat Tinggi. Okay, for your information, uh, my school received about 82 of Chromebook. That means we have uh, two labs for lab A and lab B. Uh, First of all, thanks for uh, thanks to the KPM and also Ambassador Net okay, to provide us uh, with the Chromebook. Okay, um, for okay at my school, uh, I think uh, Chromebook is very easier and better understanding of teaching and learning in class. That means um, I can bring my student to the lab and teach them how to use the Chromebook and sharing everything inside the Chromebook and the very uh, I think the best moment in my life uh, when I'm starting using the Chromebook um, I can do uh, teaching uh, teaching and learning anywhere that's mean uh, okay last week uh, uh, I'm at police and my uh, my class still going on Okay, in uh, so I'm I'm doing a hanging out with my four ICT student and four and five BD. So for for two periods, so the the student very happy, so they can see my face uh, in the handout. Okay, we can share uh, the documents and the tasks with them. I can check uh, online. And make sure that they are submit the task to me. So it's very interesting to me and also with my students. Okay, I think the TV is a powerful gadget for internet surfing. So um, lots of uh, application inside the CB, uh, especially the Google Apps. Um, then we can also uh, make an online two ways communication between teachers and students. So uh, I give us uh, uh, for your information. Uh, we will do a course for our teachers uh, for next week during the PMR examinations. So we will divide the teachers uh, with uh, four groups and one slot about twenty teachers. So I will uh, teach them how to use the Chromebook and also the application inside the CB. And uh, for now, uh, we are managed to use the Google Drive, I, I mean Google Spreadsheet, uh, for teachers to booking their CB lab uh, by themselves uh, to key in the slot, which one they are like. So for me, CB is very interesting. So Miss Liz, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, every day uh, and every time in my class, they ask me to use the CB. So my my student very happy. That's okay, amazing. That's all. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is a powerful gadget. So uh, can, can I can I ask you a question, Mazia? Yeah. If you if you think about this time, what what difference has it made to you as a teacher? The fact that you have all these devices, that you can be in Perlis and and have a hangout lesson with your students. What difference has it made to you as a teacher? Uh, what uh, make difference? 
I feel so awesome actually, Miss Liz. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it's very interesting, you know. Uh, before, uh, before we are using this CB, okay, before we have a VLE platform for teaching and learning, so we just use the conventional for teaching, okay, just uh, talk. Okay, and then uh, using the whiteboard, mark, whiteboard. Okay, and then also the just the desktop or the lap, the lapi. But when the CB is come to our school, so I, I'm so excited, and uh, uh, the student also very excited because there is a lots of application that they can use during the teaching and learning. Uh, for me, uh, um. We can do uh, teaching and learning anywhere at any time using this powerful gadget. Okay, very good. <laughs> yeah, you, you are an amazing uh, teacher. I want to say that in front of everyone. Oh, and, well. <laughs> and I think you do an amazing job. Uh, and I, I'm so glad that it has such a positive impact on you. Actually, so, I'm trying to give a good uh, best practices about the VLE and also the CB and also the VLE platform to my schools. So that means they can see how the important uh, for us to a teacher to create our own teaching and learning. Uh, so we can be uh, so uh, so we can be more creative. Okay, um, attracting the student to come to our class. Okay. So this is uh, amazing, so amazing. So can I can I just ask you a question? Has it made made you a happier teacher and and made teaching and learning more fun and meaningful for you? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, because uh, I, my student always online with me, and just now uh, my student using the CB. One of the student is very keep quiet in my class. Okay, so he using the CB, the chat things to collaboration with me. If he want to ask the questions, so it is a good thing. That means the passive user also can get along together using the technologies. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marian. Okay, Miss Liz. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. And thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Okay, next, uh, can we hear from Miss Kaur from SJKC Central? She will be sharing about how her school, her class 4M uses Chromebooks. Uh, every student, one Chromebook. So let us hear from Miss Kaur. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Miss Kaur, we can hear you. Sorry? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so I start my presentation about the using the Chromebook in my class. Okay, how I'm Miss Ko Fung Fung from HKC Central. And I'm the 4M class teacher. I teach Chinese subject. And my school has started a one to one uh, Chromebook classroom in August. And these uh, Chromebooks are sponsored by YTL. All the students in 4M are given the opportunity to carry the Chromebook back for the self-learning. So I have created two sites in my Frog VLE. One is for 4M class and another one is for mine. Uh, I named my site using the full name because it, it, the aim is to let the people uh, to have an easy and quick search uh, to my site. So uh, for my personal site, I have uploaded some teaching tools like Causeway, uh, Quiz, uh, Acid Ticket, and others. I also use these tools in my class. And, and for the class side, I have read many pages like highlights, uh, photo gallery, 
and then class list, class timetables, discussion area, and uh, homework area, and others. So, for example, I will use my class sites to assign the homework to the people and the uh, parents will monitor the pair, the student homework through this site. So uh, I will can I can monitor I can I I say I can also uh, discuss something using this site through uh, the pupils and then uh, to make sure uh, my student does not uh, mi misuse the Chromebook in class. So I have assigned a leader for each subject. Okay, the leader will give instruction to the rest by clapping his or her hand. Okay, he or she also responsible to update the homework in the class side. So before using the Chromebook, the leader will clapping his hand and when the student hearing the clapping sound, they will start to open the Chromebook. Uh, this is the good practice. Okay. And then uh, after that, I will make sure all of them can connect to the Wi-Fi or 4G. Yes, 4G. And I will ask them to search my site using the full name by typing my full name. And I will starting using. I will start my lesson by using the courseware. Okay. After finishing a topic, I will also create a question, and then post into the uh, exit ticket. And then the student will answer the question in the exit the ticket. And then, uh, I will choose five best students from this as it took us uh, with, with the best answer. And I will create one more post, okay, to let the, all the students to vote. Who is the, uh, the best answer among these students? So, this exercise is mainly for the fun learning, okay? Okay, so when my lesson is ended, the leader will again give clapping to close the Chromebook. So, besides that, I will also assign uh, assignment and quiz for the student once, uh, once, at least once a week. Okay, and it I can easily trace their uh, as I, no, uh, their uh, okay, wait, their, I can easily uh, trace their progress by data viewer. So, in the data viewer, I can trace out who does not pass up the quiz, and for the assignment, I will use. I will mark in the frog Asia and then I will uh, return to them with marks and the comments. Okay, so these are my uh, these are my experience on how I using the Chromebook in the school. So that's all my presentation. Okay, thank you, Miss Ko. Yeah. Are your students with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you want please them sorry, to come and <laughs> please, eh? Okay, sure, no problem. Okay, thanks. Uh, Ping. Yeah, calling. Hey, I'm Ting Yi Ma. Hey, Ma. Bao Zhuo Xia. Shh. Don't come out. Zhuo Xia. Thank <laughs> you.
What's happening? Okay, uh, if anyone has any question, feel free to post up on the Q&A section. You can click Ask Question, and you can type out your question there. Uh, Juan Marzian, do you have any question for Miss Core and the way she uses Chromebooks in her classroom? Because they are using it as a one-to-one, -one, so each student have one Chromebook to use in the classroom. Uh, how uh, how do you manage uh, to give to give the student one Chromebook each one for them? Because they are okay. I just want to know how you manage the Chromebook with the little kids on your class. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, hold please. Uh. Hey, I think they match. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I will, uh, because my student can bring the Chromebook back, so I will make sure all of them take care of their Chromebook. And then uh, I okay in my class I will assign a leader, and then he is take care to lock the door in the class, make sure nobody can attend uh, enter the class except the four M class pupil. Oh, sorry, that's sorry. me. <laughs> sorry, that's me. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. So that means they can bring. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Masia, just so you know a little bit of background, mm -hmm. in this particular school, it is not the, the normal Chromebook. Uh, this is a special project. Oh, this yeah, is a yeah. special project being done in the school ah. where we want to see if a one to one device. Helps mm -hmm. make learning more impactful. Oh, so okay. it's a special project that we are running in uh, SJKC Centro. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, any questions? What is, uh, can, can I ask a quest question? What is the reaction of the pupils to having this device? Are they excited? Are they happy? Okay, actually, uh, my presentation time is not now. And then, uh, actually, I got to, uh, invite some people to come for the conference, but now it's not the, the, the tuition time. I can call them now. Can you wait me for a while? Okay, I'm sure we can. Okay. Are the others okay? Okay. Uh, Phoebe, are we okay to wait? Yes, yes, we can wait for a while. Uh, okay. Uh, but if you have any question, you can continue posting it up on the Q and A. Um, for now, we have one question from Mr. Nanis. He said that there are forty-one Chromebooks in the lab. Are the teachers using the Chromebooks to take home to prepare the lessons? So can uh, any of you give a comment on that? Maybe uh, Madam Tan or Puan Marzian? Oh, wait, uh, uh, Madam Tan, you can uh, unmute your microphone. 
So Phoebe, I actually have a question. Yeah, um, the Q and A for me is quite um quite fresh, and then I don't know how to create the question and then answer the question. Can you guide me a little bit, Wah? Well? Uh, Arafe will send you the link. So uh, you just wait for a while, then you can check your email. Uh, Madam Tan, the question is there are 41 Chromebooks in the lab. Are the teachers using the Chromebooks to take home to prepare the lesson? So would you like to give you a comment on that? Um, yes, I think for our school, right, um, for the teacher, we are usually we are try to bring the, the Chromebooks to the teachers. But there's one thing good, actually I want to share after this, um, regarding the teacher community side. We um, encourage the teacher to pass on their uh, document, their paperwork. It's not called paperwork already, it's told that they, they have to prepare their uh, maybe it's the agenda, whatever the things, right? They have to upload it. So that's a very good that we have come up with this idea and then let the teacher borrow the, uh, just take home to prepare their things, you know, not only the lesson. That's uh, from our school. Um, okay, all right. Thank you, uh, Madam Tan, for your comment. Um, please hold on for a while while we wait for another teacher. Okay, uh, Miss Kaur, are you ready? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, these are my students, three of them. Okay, say hi. Oh, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey. Hello. 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 My name is Jackson. I will share. Hello, Jackson. Hello. So what the can, I, can, I ask, can I ask you a question first? Sure. Do you like do you like using the Chromebook? Yes. It's very okay. fun. Very fun. So can you tell us, can you share something with us about using Chromebook? It's interesting. We can find a lot of uh, information on Proc VLE, we can do a lot of assignment and Causeway. We can use Causeway on it. Okay. So, do you, do you like the fact that you can take a Chromebook home? Yes. And do you, how do, tell me how, tell me how you look after your Chromebook at home? Yes, I do. How do you how do you make sure that your Chromebook is safe? I'll put it in my room. And I'll ask my brothers and sister not to touch it. Okay. And do they and do they listen to you? Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. What 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 does what do your parents think about you bringing back the Chromebook? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Are they happy that you can do your homework and and look at at sites and information? Is that something that they are happy about? No. No. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jensen. Hey. Hi, Jensen. Hello. Okay, so tell us what do you do using Chromebook every day. What are the things you do on your Chromebook? I do assignment quizzes, go on crossway, crossway. Okay, what else do you do? Is there any other application you use? Um, Tell us about your Khan Academy. I 
two lessons. Okay. What about Khan Academy? Do you for math topic? Do you use it? Yeah. Yeah. So how's it? badges. Yes, you earn badges. badges. Wow. Yeah. How many badges have you got? Thirty something. Thirty something. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really amazing. <laughs> Is there any other student who wants to talk? Yeah, two more. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jensen. Thank you. Jensen. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hello, Damien. How are you? Fine. <laughs> okay. So thank you for joining us. What do you want to talk about, Damien? Uh, okay. Talk about your experience. So how's your experience using Chromebook? It's fun. It's fun. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. What do you do with Chromebook? Do my assignment and quiz. You do assignment and quiz. What do you like about it? Um, you like the Khan Academy. How many badges do you have? Okay. What do, you, what do you do at Khan Academy? Mathematics. Mathematics. Okay. Very good. What about the group activities? The activities that you do in the classroom? Because I remember before you have Chromebook in your class, uh, the group work was different. Now, what do you do in groups? How do you use Chromebooks in a group? Is Jensen there saying exit ticket? Yes. Not me, yeah. not me. It's not okay. It's not me. So come here and explain what is the exit ticket and how do you do it in the classroom? Yeah. Jensen, come here and explain. Me. So what is the exit ticket? Um, okay, tell us what is the exit ticket. Teacher will post some um, award that is named exit ticket. Then the teacher will give a title. Then we'll answer. Teacher will choose the top best and best answer. the best answer and we vote for it. Okay. Wow. Do you wanna use Chromebook for all your lessons forever? Yes. yes. <laughs> How is it different from your normal classes, your previous classes? What is different? Why uh, do you want to do it forever? <laughs> don't need to bring too much thing. Oh, you don't have to bring all your books to the school. You just bring a Chromebook. Okay, what else? Um, more interesting and fun, improve our result. Yeah, now oh, your it improves your results, so you are a better student now. Mm. Yes, hmm? I guess. Okay, we have, we have to see your grades later. Okay, is there anyone else who wants to speak about their experience? Yes, yes. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you. Hello. Bye. Hi. Okay. Hello, introduce yourself and tell Hello. us your about, about your experience. Hello, my name is Jasmine. I study at SGKC Center. I am Standard 4. Hi, Jasmine. Can you tell us what have you done with the Chromebook? I have done my assignment that teacher have been giving and the quiz. Are the quiz fun to do? Yes. Before you got your Chromebook, do you like to do quizzes? Uh, not really. <laughs> okay, so now that you got the Chromebook, do you always do your quiz now? Yes. 
Yes. How many quizzes have you done already? A lot. A lot. Is it more than 20? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, how do you take care of your Chromebook in school? I put it in a file, then I brought it to school. Then I put it in a bag. So you put it in a file and you put it in the bag? Yeah. Is your, is your Chromebook uh, okay? Still safe? Yes. So what do you do during recess? You cannot bring your Chromebook down to the canteen. How do you take care of it? Uh, we're just going to put it in the class. Then Jensen will lock the door. Jensen will lock yes. the door. Jensen okay. is your security guard. What? Jensen is your security guard. <laughs> Can you share with us uh, what else, what activity do you do with the Chromebook in your classroom? Uh, going to Khan Academy. Going to Khan Academy as well. Is it for mathematics? Yes. So, uh, what do you like about Khan Academy? Doing the bad, doing the math lessons, then we got badges. You got badges too. Do you have yeah. more badges than Jensen? No. <laughs> All right. Can you share with us also about Google Drive? Can you remember Google Drive? Yeah. Uh, what do you do with Google Drive? We can make our own timetable. Timetable. What kind of timetable do you make? Uh, learning timetable at school. Learning timetable at school. Then what do you do with that Google Drive? Uh, I forgot it a bit. <laughs> oh. I lost her. Jasmine, are you still there? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm so sorry. I lost you for a while there. Uh, anyone, uh, teachers, do you have any question to these students? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Madam Tan. Madam Tan. Yeah. Hi, John. So I have a question. How you how you use a Google Drive to create a timetable? Can you share more about it? We go to our own account and drop. Then there's like a uh, quick launch. Then there's a Google Drive there, and we just press the Google Drive. Okay. Uh. Then after that, what do you create? Timetable. You create the spreadsheet. Huh? Oh, I think she. Um, so what these kids did was uh, they go to Google Drive and they create a spreadsheet. So in the spreadsheet, they type in their timetable and after that, they uh, put it into their personal dashboard using the Embed website widget. Okay, Jasmine, do you have anything else to say? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, thank you, Jasmine, for your time. Bye. Thank you, Jensen. Thank you, Damien. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay, uh, we have a question from uh, Jane Ong. She is asking, what kind of content do you use in the school for the 4M class? Are they created by the teachers? So can you share more about it? Is it the teaching material? Teaching materials or assignment and quizzes. Okay. For the quiz, we use the uh, Causeway quiz, which is uh, the one company, education company, which we buy the software from them. So they make a quiz for me, and then by the assignment, I I type myself, and then I send to them. 
Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, for quizzes, you take the question yeah. from whatever that the software has provided and you put into yeah, the yeah, quizzes yeah. widget. But for yes. assignment, you include your own question and you assign to the students. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Right now, uh, thank you, Miss Call, for your time and thank you for sharing with us. Uh, right now, we want to hear from uh, Madam Tan about how Chrome Lab is used in SJKC Chung Wen. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? I unmute my uh, speaker. Okay, good. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, actually, our school launching on April the Chrome Lab, and then until today we have 136 Chromebook in our school, and then now I'm here in Chrome Lab. I c I think I can turn around and let you see this. The uh, how's the Chrome Lab? Okay. So you can see that. Okay, that's uh, our Chrome tab, and then 82 of the Chromebook from the government MOE. Okay, we put it here. So, um, all the students will sit around here. Okay, beside me, I have another presenter <laughs> I want to bring in today later. Okay, so talk about the Chromebook. Um, actually, we try to uh, we try to use the library tagging system to bro uh, to borrow the Chromebook. Okay, we put a tag here. I hope that you can see. Okay, the barcode is here. So the student just need to present their ID, to student ID card, and then they just take it, and then they can borrow the Chromebook. So normally, um, we try to run and do all the things in the um, during the lesson. They have to borrow the Chromebook. After a while, I think next year we'll start to borrow, uh, let the student borrow back to their home for them to assess their size, whatever the things right. So okay, um, after this. I want to share another best practice for our school is that we we try to train up a group of students. We call it uh, Little IT Warrior, also as a champion student. Okay, this group of students, uh, champion students, right? We teach them how to um, uh, occupy all the things uh, from the Chromebook, and then they learn how to build the class site. Okay, we uh, we give them the template. I think I can try to share the screen with you all. So this is our okay. This is the main class sites we built after we built right. So we let the student um, do whatever the things are okay from their their own class site. We have to see um, what's the what's the uh, okay. What's the material the resource they need to do okay. Okay, let's see the four S four K class site. So we, we we give them the template after we um, give them the template right. So we guide them how to do the class profile, how to upload the teacher photo, and then how to put their classmate list inside, and then um, their photo gallery list, and then all the discussion, whatever they um, tap by tap we guide them together. So if let's say we want them to um, to build something, uh, maybe the timetable we need them to do. This is another way from our school. I built another community site for them. So I put all the gallery sources here. What they need to do is they just go and download. Okay. They just need to do uh, they just need to download their class teacher photo here, and then maybe they need the name list. I put all the whole school name list here. They need to learn how to sort out the list, and then their subject teacher, the also the template form in the Google Drive. So they just need to um, open up it and edit, and then after that they need to um, and, um, put it in their own class site. Okay, so that's a main class site. Okay, another another things that I want to I would like to share is about. Okay, I think I show you that one of the class sites. Okay, from for our school, this is my class. Okay, <laughs> for our school, actually our students and teacher, 
um, the student, I think the students, uh, they are the one very, very happy and enjoying the frog ELE and then teacher and slowly, slowly get involved at all. So this is the video that I created during the lesson we use in the Chrome Lab. I use another one. Okay. Technical problem. Huh? Hello, what's going on here? <laughs> Maybe you don't have to maximize the... Yeah. yeah. Okay, I try to use another one. I like it. Uh, I let like the 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 they loading everything first. So I think I continue my sharing here. Okay, this is the my class site. So this is the one of the thing that I put it in is a happy uh, the the birthday calendar for my class. Okay, so after I put I set up the birthday calendar right. So. I'm very happy and then we also very excited that not only the students from our class they leave their their bracing uh, comments here, even the headmaster also come and visit us in the site. So we have feel very, very warm and happy. Okay. I think the, the video should be done, so we go back to the video. Okay. <laughs> We have 2,000 over students in our school and then a class, okay, almost 50 students in the class. But we still can manage to get them all in the Chrome Lab. They are very happy. Not only the lesson, they, they can do a lot of things. The one thing that I, want, I would like to share is that with the Chromebook, with the everything's right, we are very happy, like as the teacher say, normally it's, um, because we are very, uh, very hard, uh, very difficult to man manage time to get all the students involved in the class lesson, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I think I have to go back to the hangout. Okay, um, actually, we are very hard, very difficult to get get all the students in the class talk to us and answer our questions when we post the questions. So. 50 in the class, you just imagine, 1 hour, 60 minutes, okay, without lesson, without anything, you want to hear every one of them, that's very, very difficult. So, through Frog VLE, I try to be, I try to build a site, and then I bring them and show the video, whatever the things, and then I let them post their comments, you know, I feel that that's a, that's a time, I really hear every one voices, you know, I feel that's a, that's the first time, you know. I can, I can, I can know that. Okay, what that, what they are thinking and they, what they are learned today. Okay, that's a very, very good. I feel we can, we, 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 as a teacher, you know, we can hear them. Um. So beside the um, addition, I want to share is the. Um, recently, we tried to think a way how to get the school, whole school, the, I mean the students, the, the um, teachers to get involved the Frog VLE because we don't want to, we just do it. after launching we don't want let it just put aside, you know. So we think a lot of ways and then with your support from um, Frog Asia, uh, uh, Arafair, Phoebe and also Elizabeth, okay, we did a lot of things, you know. So we try to, um, during the Madega month, we do a Madega, a Madega quiz and then we 
get the student an answer. So we give them the prize during the assembly, mm. and then uh, it's not assembly. I think it's a celebration, medical um, uh, medical celebration that day. And then after this, we found out, we found that it's not only the student get excited with, with, with it, right? Um, even the teacher, even the parents, they also try to lock in the side and answer the question. That's get me, you know. Um, from the data before, I found eh, how the teacher also try to answer the question. That's confused, confused me because I want to find out who is the um the um the top top faster answer and um the 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 winner, right? So after this, another month coming. After the August, um, in the September, I'm thinking another quiz again. So this time I create a mid autumn quiz for the student as well. But this time we create another quiz as only um only open up and share share to the teachers. You know, let the teachers um to, uh, go and answer the quiz. But that's very happy. The prize is <laughs> simple but meaningful. You know, the headmaster sponsor us ten breakfast for the top 10 we know. So we just had it and then they, they I think tomorrow they had, uh, they will get their, their breakfast. <laughs> okay. So after this, I feel that, okay, teachers slowly, they get involved themselves. So I try to do another things. I build up the teacher community sites and then guide them how to drop their documents, um, do, uh, drop their do documents there. And then after that, I think now today we have a lot of link. Um, we have to uh, the um, KSSR, we have to um, key in the result or whatever the things right. So I just embed all the link inside. It's e very easy for them. They just one click in on and then they just go and find the site link. That's very easy. Even though the take attendance right, we also make it in the uh, teacher community side. So one last thing I would like to say, share here is the hangout we did today. We're very happy and then um, um, even the teacher, the teacher giving the lesson today, she mm. never, never thought um, she can she can make it, you know. So for the Google Hangout part, I pass it to my student. I think um, let him share about this. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Samuel Chow. I'm I'm from SGKC Chongwen. Uh, we were very happy today because our Google Hangout was a great success. We were able to interview two very special persons. To share their life stories with us. Then we had a very valuable lesson because uh, they shared with us a lot of great advice, and especially Elizabeth, she gave, she told us a lot about. Then she was quite honest with her answers, <laughs> so we got to know her better. Oh, that's then, great! <laughs> the students were all very excited because this was our first time having a lesson through Google Hangout, so it was a new experience for all of us. And I hope that in the future, all of us can start learning using Google Hangouts. This will be much more convenient and we can learn more efficiently. Thank you. I think um, that's all from our school. Let's pass it back to uh, Phoebe. Okay, thank you, Madam Tan, for your sharing, and also Samuel. Uh, actually, recently, also, this school had a competition, the Mid-Autumn Competition, where the Year 4 students uh, design a poster using uh, Google Presentation, or is it Monkey? And also, yeah, the, yeah. Year, the Year 5 students did a Google Presentation, and the fact that um, Madam Tan only taught them in one day they know how to use the Google Drive and everything is all done using the Chromebook. So uh, can you share further about uh, how the students were trained in using the barcode system and also the how to handle the Chromebooks? Oh, okay. Um, actually, we get the, the champion student to get involved in this. So. Every morning, they have, they will check with the teacher. Is that they um, they have the chance to come and um, use the Chrome Lab or what? Okay, if let's say the teacher uh, already mentioned that they want to use the Chrome Lab today, so the uh, student champion they will come to ready the classroom, the lab, uh, Chrome Lab. So they will charging, they make sure all the things is uh, working properly. 
uh, after this, they um, during um, during the time the lesson time, right? The uh, champion student they will come inside um, come inside the Chrome uh, Chrome lab and take the, all the Chromebook and then pass it to the student. They take the ID card and queue out outside the uh, librarian there and just borrow it. After that, they just come inside here and use it. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can you again uh, let us know how many students do you have in your school? We have 2,300 plus students, teachers around 100 over. So I think um, I can share the drive, um, the presentation and the poster they design. Yeah, can you share some of the posters that the students design? Yeah, I use the screen share. Okay, hold on. Um, if we, the, um, the the champion student right, they try to upload their poster to the Google uh, Share Drive. So this is the mid term folder, and then this is a picture editing by the year four student, the champion student. Okay, this is all the poster they design. Use the pig monkey. Wow, to do it, yeah. That's amazing. Mm. This is all the poster, and then I can put it up. Okay, this is the okay. This is the champion of the year four. That's amazing work. <laughs> oh, yes, and then for the year five, they using the um they create the presentation. This is their presentations. I can say that very hard to choose the champion. You know, everyone they have their very very wonderful part. Okay, I let show. Um, let us see. This is the champion. Okay. Let it loading for a while. Okay, this is the champion. Wow. I can um honestly, I'm not really teaching all the icon, how the uh, how the features, how to use or what. I just um tell them okay this and then you can just try it or whatever what right. They can they they really they really tried it and then a lot of things um sometimes I have to ask them uh, how you make it and then you see. There's a tanglong, and then they put the story of the tanglong. Then this is the song. Okay, that's wonderful. They know how to put the video clip inside the uh, presentation. The presentation they didn't use the team um, inside the presentation. They create their own and then change the background picture. Wow, this time, yeah, it's a uh, channel still there. Samuel, yes, Samuel still here. I, I want to say something to, to Samuel, and I want him to pass this message on to his to his um, friend. Uh, hold on. Huh? Okay, Samuel is here. Yes. Hi. Hey, Samuel. I guess you know. I wasn't sure. I, I can't remember who asked me the question about whether this was my dream job. Was it you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I asked you if given another chance, would you change your job or stay on? I know. Okay, so I want to tell you something. You know, some days uh, you can have the most exciting job in the world, but there will always be days and moments when you think, ah, it's not going so well and maybe this is not what it's supposed to be. But listen, but I want to tell you that that lesson we had this morning on Hangout, and listening to your teacher and listening to you has made me realize that this is what it's all about. Uh, to have a main like like teachers like this, like Miss Tan and uh, what was the name of the earlier teacher? Uh, uh, the Madam teacher Te. It, sorry, Madam Te. Madam Te and these children. Wow, so amazing! I will tell you something. In my 26 years of teaching. And three right. years of working in Proud Asia, I have never been so uh, touched and impressed 
by by <laughs> students. Okay. Thank you. It's, it's not just Miss Tan, but if you look at me closely, you can see there's some tears falling down my face. But I think, <laughs> you know, uh, people like Mazian and and uh, Monko and Miss Tan and all you students who do such amazing things make us at Frog Asia believe that this is really, really what it's all about. So go yeah, back yeah. and tell your friends that I am sure. so incredibly impressed by you all and uh, I'm going to bring you something hopefully next week. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Good job. Thank okay. you. I'll, I'll Pass the message to the Okay, thank you very much, uh, Samuel and Madam Tan. Uh, if any of you uh, want to watch the video of the class that they had this morning, Arafe will be putting the link up on Frog on Air. So stay tuned and wait uh, because she has some editing to do. The first part, she has to cut it out, yeah? Okay, <laughs> but thank you very much. Uh, it is a very good opportunity where we had Frog on Air, Google Hangout uh, with the classroom. Have any of you done any Google Hangout with your classroom before? And if you have any experience, can you share? Actually, we, we done it one time together with the uh, Singapore student and one teacher and students. We done it during the Gajian Tempatan lesson. Okay, we're talking about the Mua because um, from our books, they just mentioned about the Mua. They do the research in Mua, their food, then their um, their name or everything, you know. So we try to um, hang out with the Mua teachers and Mua students. From our side, our student is very excited to know what's the uh, nice food from the Mua side. I feel fun, you know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Pon Mazian, do you want to say something? Oh, I thought you wanted to say something. You want to share about? Uh, have you used Google Hangout in your classroom? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I'm using uh, last week. Okay, when I'm at Perlis, so my uh, my friends posted it in my Facebook. I want to show it, <laughs> but it's quite slow here. But wait, ah, uh. okay. Mm. Okay, the other activity that we did on Hangout and I think it's worthwhile to share is what SJKC Chungwen did that relates the communication between Chungwen and uh, Ahmadi Raja School in Muar. Um, hold on, uh, yeah. my, uh, my service is a time uh, after school already. They have, uh, oh, okay, yeah. so bye, Samu. Okay, thanks. Do you want to say anything? Bye. Very uh, good experience talking to all of you. Oh. <laughs> all of you another time. Nice seeing right. you again. Bye. 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 Okay, so Miss Tan, you can share your experience uh, connecting Muar School and your school together and talking to the Singapore students as well. That would be another type of hangout that we can do. Yeah, actually that day the that day is quite busy day, you know. Not only I think the government, the Pangawai, they also come and visit us, and then they want to see how we use the Chromebook, and then in our PMP, PMP, and then I try to I try to use the site, and then not only the Mua thing we talk about, and then I just try to put another another place. I mean, um, Kuala Lumpur, Penang, Melaka, and then how the story from that uh, the location, and then after this. We try to use the hang up with the Moa teacher, you know, and then the time the Singapore student also come and visit us. So Singapore students, our student, and the Moa student, we really hang up together, you know. Then they, for the Moa students, they are because they are secondary school, what I know, right, SMK. So they are very excited, and then they try to they asking the Singapore student a question. That's question we feel that's very, um, I think. That's a question, very very nice question, you know. They ask, is it they re, um, busy with the homework or not? Um, there are quite a lot of homework, I think. Then, that's the, uh, the, the Singapore teachers just decide. I think they have, they also have the, um, facing the same, same, I mean, same experience with us, same background also with the homework. But the one thing good is they they also, in uh, their IT also quite advanced one. So, we try to um, get the teacher, um, email address, we're also thinking about 
do another hangout with them mm. and to the um yeah. That would be good. Huh. They are they are also very impressed that um Malaysia Malaysia school they can do until I mean that's quite advanced already for for us you know for them they thinking that um that's a very good um example for them to to. Okay, we are waiting for one teacher, Puan Roaima. Currently, she's trying to connect and enter in the chat. But while we are waiting, uh, here are some interesting questions. <laughs> Hold on, uh. wait. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, hi, Puan Roaima. <laughs> you are in, how are you? Okay, how are you? Can you hear us? Okay, I'm in. Oh, all right. Welcome to the Frog on the Air. Nice. Okay, uh, can you share with us about using Chromebook in the classroom? Or as a teacher, how do you use Chromebook in classroom? Oh. <laughs> 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 Don't cry, baby. <laughs> Few minutes. <laughs> That's the reality of teachers, isn't it? Yes. Especially the women. Uh, I want. Uh, can I share something? Yes. Uh, so this is what happened last week when I just arrived at Brasman Hotel Perlis. So on that time is uh, 9, 8, 8.40 I think so. Uh, so this is uh, what happened with my class. I will show it. <laughs> okay, uh, screen share. I want to share the, uh, I want to show the video but the line is not good. Um uh, Paul Marzian, can you send us the link? Then probably we can open it for you. Uh you can put it into I, the chat box. Uh I post it uh to the Facebook. You put it Yeah. Oh, okay. We can hear it now. Oops, that's my face. Okay. Huh? So. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, every user who has uh, who want to use the Chromebook must go to the school dashboard first, and then they must fill up the form. Mm. Okay, I want to show the form. Right. So here, so I put the form here. So it has a record penggunaan DV for the computer lab. Uh, this is a record peminjaman for the teachers. And then this is the record penggunaan Chromebook that must be filled up uh, by the students who are using the Chromebooks. Mm -hmm. mm. It's hanged. It's it's hang. I want um, to show the form. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Maybe while it's loading, we can hear yeah. from Puan Roaima. Okay, Puan Roaima, can you share with us about uh, using the Chromebook in classroom and how have you been using it as a teacher? Uh, Paul Raima, we can't hear you. Uh, have you unmute your okay. microphone? Can you hear ah, okay. Me? Yes, right, thank maybe you. Maybe while it's loading, we can hear yeah. from Paul Raima. Okay, what I do? Uh? Okay, Paul Raima, can you share with us about uh, using the Chromebook in classroom and how have you been using it as a teacher? Uh, I'm I'm just doing the site for Chromebook, all the notes at there. And I ask the teachers to fill up the form for the course. So no need to pass around the hand, the handout on paper. That's it. Okay. How have, uh, how have you been managing it? Yeah. What what? Uh, have you unmuted your? Okay. Ah okay. Yeah. Thank you for talking. We can hear one more Okay. Okay, what I do? Uh? Okay, Paul Raima, can you share with us about uh, using the Chromebook in classroom and how have you been using it as a teacher? Oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just doing the site for Chromebook, all the notes at there, and I ask the teachers to fill up the form for the course. So, no need to pass around the, hand, the handout on paper. That's it. Okay, how, uh, how have you been managing it? Yeah. What, what? Uh, have you unmuted your Okay, okay. Yeah, I need to pause the Okay, uh, hi, Paul Roima. I think there is some technical issues there. Can you switch off the video from the Google Plus? Oh. Because it's playing. Yeah. And I ask the teachers to fill up the form for the course. So no need to pass around the. Can I just close your Google Plus page? Okay. How? How? What? What? Have you close your Google Plus page? Yeah. Close that page. Ah, all right. Okay. Just close this page. Report Rama, can you hear us now? Oof. Mm 
Can she hear us? Okay, while well, waiting for Puan Roaima. Uh, there is a question. Um, from Sarah Hello, Paul Raima. We can't hear you. Okay. Okay. Now All right. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do the set for what is from book. And then first step is uh, how they use for Chromebook, Google Drive. And then uh, introduction. Mm. And then uh, keyboard. How they use the keyboard. And then this one. Uh, what is the shortcut for Chromebook? The note is there, so uh, the teacher just can explore themselves because um, Okay, and then Chrome News, there's a website about uh, all the updates about Chrome Chromebook Juan Raima, you are sending all these sites to Frog Store. Are they available yes, on Frog but, Store but already? Not published yet. Oh, okay. Asked, you send last. Everybody week. asked about this. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, then screen capture. Many things I put. <laughs> okay, so this is how you are training teachers in your school by creating site and sharing it with other teachers. Yes, that is what I do. And the sites are available for students as well. I share the sites well. for, for, for teachers to access. And then uh, while, while doing the course, i busy for giving uh, ID and password for teachers. They oh. forgot about it. Yeah, that's happening okay, sometimes. Yeah. So have you then, ever had any class with the Chromebook? Uh, not yet. I, I haven't started a uh, class with Chromebook. Mm -hmm. So you are still in the management of the Chromebook and you are dealing with mm -hmm. settling the teachers and make sure teachers are comfortable using it. That's, yeah, that's now, now I'm, I'm doing the training for teachers first. Oh, okay, so, so you're planning to train the teachers. Lastly, the teacher enjoy, fill up the form. Oh. This form because is for feedback? Uh, the form is uh, just for me to record how many attendance, how many teachers are come for the course. So, uh, so they, will, they will get two hours. For Joomla, they will type uh, two hour course. Oh. Even I had, I just do the course for about one hour actually. So, Puan Raima, we have some schools here uh, like SJKC, uh, Chungwen, that they use Chromebooks in their classroom for long term. And oh, if you have any question uh, on 
how they are using it in the classroom. You can uh, ask the questions now or ke uh, keep in touch with Ms. Tan or other teachers uh, through our future Frog on Air to continue having this discussion on how the schools are using it and what are the best practices on using Chrome Lab. So the other uh, problem um, that most of the schools are mentioning is after they receive the Chrome Lab, uh, so first time is the training. But um, the other thing is the classroom management. How the teachers manage the class because you will have, for example, one-to-one -one, um, session in the class. So how do you manage it in the class? How do you get the students to use it, especially in the primary schools? So, uh, I don't Chung, decide yet how to manage yes. that. Yes, so I think um, Ms. Tan, uh, if you are available. Let me how you do for Chromebook. Yes, how do you manage 41 Chromebook in your classroom? How do you get the students run the classroom? And then do you have any technical issue? Or is it hard to train the students to get used to using Chromebooks? Um, um, because now, now uh, I, I want to finish the course first for teachers. So uh, yeah. after that, I will discuss with my HM how to manage using Chromebook in class. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. But we can listen to Miss Tan now. She has some ideas on how we, how she's using Chromebook in the classroom. Okay. Yeah. Um. So okay. Um. I just share my experience here. So if let's say we part uh, after the first training for the teacher, we want to let the teacher do the side, whatever the things, right? The teacher maybe they um, they will you know buzz aloud, uh, uh, around and then they they maybe they will feel reluctant to do all the things. But the way I do, I think that's a very good for us, you know. We I try to train out a group of students. I mean um, each class they select two students from their class and then we group all the students together in during the um, Cochrane time and then we teach the kids and then how to use, how to um, how to log in, everything, how to activate, um, step by step guide them, guide the student first. Those students, they are champion students, they are very easy to lead them and then you lead them together and then create the site, the class site is a, one of the best way to train them how to manage the site. After that, okay, um, you can open up the class site to their teachers to the teachers groups. You let the teacher get involved. You um, just show the teacher, you see, um, let them know. You see how wonderful the student can manage it. Why not you just help them to touch up more and then um, just share the pictures, whatever the things, right? Um, I think we af after I open up the, the class side to the teachers, they have they feel they, they, they can't believe, they unbelieve that the student really did a lot of things, they done all the things. So the teacher feel touching also, they try to help their students. That's a, one of the way that a uh, silent way to get the teacher involved, you know. So after that, because we train out the kids from each class, so two kids from the class, they know, okay, if I will show them how you want to manage the Chromebook to the, the classmate, how you want to let the classmate borrow the Chromebook. So after that, after that, go to the class. I'm not in the first time. I'm not giving every student. I mean, each student one Chromebook on hand. I said I I just divide the student in two group. One group of the student, I mean, half of the class, they, I mean, they have the basic IT knowledge. They know how to um, use the device because um, for your information, our class in our normal class, I mean, it's not a bright class. Some of them, they, they are quite poor, they don't have the device, they don't have the Chromebook, they, they never, never touch any IT device in their life, you know. So maybe for them, they don't know how to use it. So I divide two, mental and mental this way. So for the, 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 the one of the group, they know how to use all the, all the things, right? Then we get the student champion, help them, um, teach them how to, how to log in. So they know how to log in really. We bring them to the site. Um, the class side and then teach them, okay, um, in the class side, you have the assignment tab. In the assignment tab, the teacher will share the site link inside. You can learn from the assignment tab. So after this, the second time, they know how to log in um, by using the Chromebook. So I allow each student get the Chromebook and sit down together. And then we try to log in and learn it from the Frog VLE. So um, this is the way we do it, and then after this, we try to bring some teachers come into the club lab and let them observe okay, how the things are run. And then I think uh, after this, the, 
teach the teacher, some teacher we have a group of teacher we call the uh, teachers, uh, champion teachers as well. The te champion teacher as well, we always uh, encourage them, okay, try to create a site, a simple assignment for the student, for the class. After they create the assignment, the simple assignment, just, um, I mean, that's very simple, just uh, post a media and ask a question and then no need that, not, that many, you know, I mean, starting you can one question or two questions and then let the student try it and answer. And then after that, the teacher know the way how to how to manage all the assignment, marking, everything, so right. So after this, okay, they will, they will, they will improve a lot of their skill, uh, their, their, their skill and then they know how to manage all the things and then we try to share always remember just sharing with your um, colleagues and the uh, the class the students let them know okay, how the frog we are in that's the way we, uh, we we did in our school and then from the students okay uh, I found out another things I will I would like to share here is the the bookshelf. You know the the student when I they, when they know that they can download a uh, download a book from the frog store, they are very excited. Okay, after I teach them, I get them how to download the book. The next day, the student came back to me. They say, teacher, I download ninety nine books in my bookshelf. Ninety nine books. You just imagine. Okay, so they because I uh, they say teacher, they put it in the frog store. Uh, maybe one day they will charge us. Why not we just download it? So I feel really touching, you know. Um, even though we think that that's a very simple thing, but we never prove that the student will go and touch and they learn from that way, you know. Then they're sharing their what's the book they're reading, and then that's a very um, that's a very good way to let them learn themselves in their house, uh, their home. So I think that's all from my uh, my sharing here. Uh, I want to ask you how you manage uh, the Chromebook in classroom. Do you bring from the Chrome lab? Yeah, um, actually we try to bring the student to the Chrome lab and then we let the student, um, champion student, they take the they take the Chromebook from the Chrome tab. After that, they, they will let them to bring the Chromebook, go, um, go to the librarian that's side outside there. Okay, they take the ID card and take take it. Use the barcode. Just take uh, the ID card and this. They borrow the Chromebook and then they grab the Chromebook to the Chrome Lab and they. How start. how many how many Chromebook you take out for the class? Um, actually, my class 40, 49 students, so I take out forty nine Chromebooks. Oh, so many Chromebook. Everybody got one, eh? Yes, everybody got one. They can manage it. And then another thing I would like to share. Um, I heard that. They they quite a lot of complaints that the the, the password they very difficult to remember right. Mm -hmm. I think I always I always see this. Okay, I always see the question come up pop up. They say um can use another way to remember the password or whatever the things right. But what I observe is why not we try to find another way. We make the frog reality fun and then we um, make that attractive thing inside that when that's a need for them. They will really remember their password. They after they remember their password, they never took want to change the password. You know, that's a way. Oh. You know, <laughs> for ourselves, we cannot. For ourselves, very difficult to remember. I, I want to kids, ask uh, you: uh, any problem connection for the when 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 you using the Chromebook? Uh, everybody can access. The yes, internet? everybody can access. Yes. Uh, how far from the Chrome Lab? Um, how many meters? Twenty meters or ten meters? I or think fifty meters. Fifty meters. Fifty. Huh? Fifty meters can ah? Yes, can. Uh, Even that's outside the room, they also can access. You know. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Tan. There is one more question. The teachers are asking. How long does it take for you to set up your classroom before you start? So imagine that there is no Chromebook in the classroom. They're asking how long does it take to set up and then get it started? Okay, um, you mean started is the uh, the site is ready, ready, ready? Yeah, uh, everything is ready, but how long does it take to take the Chromebooks from Chrome Lab and set up the classroom and start teaching with your lesson? Ah, how long yeah. usually takes? Let's see. Okay, um, actually I'm not really taking the time, but estimate, I think within 10 minutes we can make it, you know. 
because they used to it really. They know how to make, how to arrange all the things that's very fast. Uh, I want to ask, uh, while the student take, take out the Chromebook, who are sitting at the room? Or teacher in class? Um, actually, all the things are uh, we get the champion student to get involved, you know. The student champion is the one will, um, two of them that will go to the Chrome tab there and just unplug all the um, the uh, uh, cable and, that, and then they carry up all the Chromebooks together and then just pass one by one to them very, very fast. Oh, so so uh, the teacher waiting at class? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, what form the student? From what? They're standard. They're primary school. Oh, primary school. Yeah, uh, they are primary school. How, like how old school. are they? Huh? Ten years old. Ten, Ten years, years old. old. Oh, okay now. Nah. And oh. very good. Even the the nine years old, they are ready. They are actually they. Most of the students in our our school honestly is not um get forty eight class classes come inside, but for the rest uh, they are very envy. They they keep thinking when's our turn? When's our turn? You know. The, the student ask you, uh, teacher, can I bring this Chromebook at to home? Yeah, um, actually, we, we try to prepare it um, for the next year. We will run uh, running out this. <laughs> not 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 for this uh, not for this time yet. We haven't ready uh, because we want to observe how the student they can manage it and then they know how um how to use it in proper way because we don't want they they bring the Chromebook home and then they just uh, go uh. Look on to the 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 site on uh, Facebook, whatever the games, whatever the things. We have to make sure that they know what's the use. Uh, what's the what's the point they use the Chromebook? You know. Okay. Yeah. I want to so share uh, how my Moe teacher teaching. Oh yeah. Uh, what she do is uh, this one. This one is about environment. And then uh, she just doing the forum. All the student respond. Uh, that time I see uh, one of the student don't know what what to what to write for the response. Then uh, he just sit in front of the computer. Uh, see all other other students answer. And then after that he know what to what to write. For the forum to feedback. Thank you for sharing. One, That's a good way. The teacher uh, do the padlet. Oh, padlet. Oh, we have. You are using a padlet as, as well. Okay. Even the the topic is environment, but uh, just uh, the question is send pictures related to a song. A song is about uh, disasters. So uh, oh. student go to Google image and then uh, they view all the picture about disaster then they choose the best one for uh, the best one to submit uh, on the wallpaper this one they, they send this picture I don't know why this is this okay and then uh, this is the notes picture just copy from the blog cause and effect of natural disaster so from this uh, the teacher asks the student to send assignment so they are not finished yet they have to write oh now two students have passed up they do at home because that day they are not uh, finished yet so uh, for one time teacher can give one, two, three work for student. Okay, that's it. I want to share. Thank you, Ima. Uh, yes. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, we have problem about our teacher who don't want to do the prop VRE to do the source. They said they don't know. They don't know how to create site. Oh, so how so do you deal with I this type of teachers? I do VLE Frog FASA 1 Because oh. I realized the teacher just log in VLE Frog uh, About 2 or 3 minutes and then they don't know what to do 
they just log out. So I said, uh, if you don't know what to do, you just go to kursus VLE Frog Fasa 1 and uh, do online course using this site. All the notes is there. For example, business site, I'm using uh, Google presentation. I have shared through FB, our FB, APM, Selangor and... Okay, this one is colored note. So, uh, just click. And then, uh, how to use widget text. How they search the source from Google. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. We think, I think. <laughs> okay, so they also can download or print from here. Okay. The same thing I give to FB, eh? And then last, uh, how they embed a uh, YouTube video using embed website. Because uh, last time I realized using uh, widget media, some of the YouTube cannot uh, cannot find in the list. And then lastly, uh, the teacher should fill up the form. So I have shared this uh, hmm? site to MOE. MSL. And then, and then I contacting here. No, no. Crop the picture so they can see uh, what is the form actually. This is picture and this is the form. So teacher can select whether one hour or two hour. After that, uh, I will export the data and yeah. send to SU Ladakh for the for their course. Thank you, Farima. We have a few teachers joining us from uh, Johor. From Johor. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Do you see yeah. the teachers in Johor? Oh, they are joining. Yeah. yeah, this is the group. Actually, I'm putting it up. So, uh, hello everyone. We just wanted to say hi to you. <laughs> and uh, as you can, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah, they are saying hi. So hello. They have a mid share learn session at the moment, and they just wanted to see how we are using Hangout. Uh, the frog on air. So the good news is Juan Raima did a good, very basic site on how to create sites in Frog VLE. So you can um, go online next week on Frog uh, Frog Store and download the site. The site is called Cursus uh, VLE Frog Pasa Satu. Yes. So well, well, thank you well, very Raima, much. I have a question. Yes, sure. Okay. I have a question. Yeah, uh, Brian Rama, is that mm. you? Um, the one you are the one post in the Facebook. You you invite us as a Palawat to visit your school dashboard. Yes. Yeah, that's very good. You know, we can sign. Uh, we can see the Puku Palawat. This is a very very good idea. Why not you share with us here? Oh. <laughs> Puku Palawat. Yeah, Puku Palawat. That's a very good. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to visit it and then I show my headmaster and said this oh, is a is very, very creative Bukup way Bukup to Bukup. do it. The okay, visitor Bukup. book, to share it with us. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the password. Oh, okay. I, I so still remember the password. Miss Dan, you will go through it a bit later. I remember the password but I forgot the ID. <laughs> oh, that's oh. a hard thing. Okay, so while you are going through your Facebook, we have one more uh, good experience, best practices sharing from the Good morning, Chumwan I school. have created two, two videos about how to using uh, clipula.com. Yes. And how to... Okay, this is... Okay, so uh, let's take a look at uh, the last page on the screen. Okay. Uh, all right, we have three more minutes before the hangout ends. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you for sharing. And so I just want to share uh, the experience that I have. 
uh, when I went to Chumwen and also SJKC Sentul. So here is actually uh, some of the things that the kids are doing in SJKC Sentul. All okay. right, now it's going full screen. Hold on for a while. So these students, uh, under the guidance of Madam Tan, they had the competition. And so before the competition, they organized a presentation where they put up lyrics using the Chromebook. <laughs> okay. We hold on for a while, yeah. Okay, this is buku pelawa, eh. Actually, they have to put their picture uh, for my wallpaper. But they just uh, respond uh, on the wall. Actually, yeah, uh, why the idea of doing the buku pelawa is uh, some of teachers want to share what I do in my Pro VLE. If if uh, before they uh, they go to our VLE using uh, admin ID, I know they have done it. So uh, maybe they can edit what we do because admin can edit anything, is it? So uh, buku pelawat, the, the pelawat only just can see. They can only edit uh, the dashboard or create site. So I think uh, they won't create site in my VLE. That's it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Puan Raima. All right, also over here, we have the SJKC Chungwen under doing their presentation. Also, uh, if you want to see how uh, Chrome Lab is done in a classroom, here is the picture of uh, students using Chrome book in the classroom, and this is how they do their group work. So in this scenario, the mathematics teacher actually asked the students to come up with the most difficult maths question that they can. So they do it using the Google Drive. Hmm. Okay. So they will see which is the toughest question and they will answer one another's question. So this is another scenario of uh, the students collaborating on the Google Drive. Uh, another picture, this is a class view on how uh, the students use Chromebook. So to, ans to answer another question, uh, there is a teacher who asked if their students are given special stickers to identify uh, their Chromebooks. Yes, uh, so you can see that their Chromebook have a lot of stickers. They stick their own stickers so that they get to identify which Chromebook is which. And so they won't mis uh, get mistaken and their Chromebooks won't be lost. Mm -hmm. So this is just some experience. Uh, that's all for our Frog on Air for today is 4.01. We want to thank all the teachers who have participated. Thank you, uh, teachers, all the way in Johor. Uh, thank you for joining us. We know you are in Meet, Share and Learn. Uh, we hope that you had an interesting discussion. Thank you, Puan Marzian. Thank you, Puan Roaima. See you thank next you. time. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Madam Tan, and also uh, Miss Call who have just left. Uh, we appreciate your input, and uh, we look forward for our next Frog on Air. Okay. okay. Do you, if you do, you have any question before we uh, go off? Yeah. When is the next time? <laughs> I do really, you know, really get a lot of input. input um, uh, for our next frog on air, we will announce it, and you will receive email as uh, how how you we sent it out today. Okay. Um, for those of you who are watching uh, this live broadcasted, thank you for joining us, and thank you for all your questions. So we will give you a feedback on the question soon. I want to ask, do you re video the conversation today? Yes, oh, you, so you can off. watch it broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> on A, okay? Yeah. Okay, on A, really on A. Thank you very much, I really enjoyed the section. Yes, you are on air and uh, we are closing our on air broadcast after this. So if you have any question and you still want to continue discussing about different topics, Maybe I want you can continue the Hangout on air. I just stop the broadcast for the end of this frog on air Chrome Lab session. Because Maybe I know you can ask Jawawi from STF for, for this Hangout. What? Do you know him? He's uh, one of the champion school frog. 
Sorry? Yeah, we would love to hear from them. We invited them for the session, but they couldn't make it, this, unfortunately. Okay, so, okay, I will ask his uh, email. Yes, yeah, so next time we would be happy to have all of them in the okay. session. Okay. So I'm ending the broadcast. Thank you, everyone. That was Frog on Air, Chrome Lab usage in the classroom, sharing best practices. Thank you, Croatia, yeah. for inviting us. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> but we can see you next time. Bye. Bye.